Hey guys, welcome to another 10 minute exercise. Today we're going to be focusing on drawing the hands. So be sure to grab your sketchbook, three different color pens and let's get started. So here we have some reference. I just grabbed that from the internet and we're going to use that to study drawing the hand. Now, when we're going to study drawing the hand, we're not going to be focusing on anatomy, but we're going to look for the simplified forms of the hand. And to do that, we need to look at three elements, which is the base of the hand or the hand palm, the thumb and the fingers. These are the three main elements of the hand. And if we start by looking at the base or the hand palm, we can actually see that the main shape is not a, it's not a flat thing like this, but it's actually the, the edges go a little bit out. Now, please draw along because that's the whole part of exercising is that you draw along. So instead of this block, it's more like this. The edges or the sides of the hand are a bit outward. But as you can see, if you look at your own hand as well, is that the knuckles of the pinky and the index finger are actually more to the back. And it's like the knuckles of the middle two fingers are more to the front. So that means that this form is actually more like this. It's more like this. Also is that you know, if you look at this hand, for example, is that we can see the index finger very clearly. We can also see the middle finger very clearly, and we can see the ring finger pretty clearly, at least the knuckle, but the pinky is very small. And that's because if you look at your own hand and you look at the side is that you might only be able to see the index finger and the ring finger. There's a slight arc in your hand and that's because we need to grab stuff. So. From a three quarters view, this would look somewhat like this. But of course, this is depending on how you are holding the hand. And that's exactly what we're going to be studying. So we're going to start studying these six hands by drawing the hand palm. So let's use this area for that.
Now, and for the last step, number three, we're going to be focusing on the fingers. But instead of drawing the whole fingers, we are just going to draw the outer part. So the last part of the fingers, which is like the last tip. Now, why are we going to draw only the outer tips of the fingers? Because I want to spark you guys to use a bit of your imagination to place them where are the ends of the fingers? Because if you know where the end of the finger is, it's very easy to adjust the hand to the end of the finger. So for example, this, we need to, we need to really calculate, right? This, this thumb, we really need to calculate where is it? Well, here we have the knuckle, we drew that here. So it's further than the knuckle. So that means that the thumb is here. Maybe even add a bit of that nail, which is already a bit of anatomy, but fuck it. And the fingers really calculate ghost. And where's the end of the fingers? Yeah. And here we are actually looking at the inside of the fingertips. When you look at the main shape here, you can really see it's almost like a wing of a bird. Fly like a bird. I only fly away. Yeah, Nelly Furtado is awesome. I'm gonna listen a bit of her after this. And now we get to the more challenging gestures. You really see me adding this, this edge here because fingers are quite rectangular. They're not that rounded. side of this finger. Now, if you want, you can continue and add the fingertips to the hand. But for this exercise, I say we are finished.
You can give yourself a pat on the back for doing this exercise because one, drawing is hard. But second, drawing hands is even harder. So don't feel discouraged. Just aim for doing about 500 of them and then start judging if you can or cannot draw hands. In the end, it's just a matter of time. So do this exercise again tomorrow or the day after tomorrow and you'll see you'll do better. Even better actually is to write down your learnings in the comments below because this way your brain remembers them easier. Now, if you like this video, give it a like and share it with everybody in the world and check out the video on the left that might be even more interesting. And on the right, you can find a playlist about the psychology behind creativity. But for now, thanks for watching and have an awesome day. Bye-bye. How many bones do you think a human hand would have? A handful? What tree can fit in one's hand? A palm tree.